looks like our uh, belt is starting to come apart. So, while we're at it, we're going to get this little attention and it looks like that thing is ready to come off too. See how it's ridden up? Yeah, she's getting ready to go. Alright, so while we're working on this and uh, finishing up that pump, uh, we'll just take our time and we'll shut down uh, each side and check out the other one there. So, I imagine that belt might be looking the same. All right, yeah, this one, hard to tell, but it does look like it's uh, on all the grooves there. But yeah, this belt, we're gonna change this belt anyways. Yeah, I see it coming apart on the outside. All right, so we will be replacing belts. All right, so uh, we did get the pump back. We're gonna go ahead and get it bolted back up here. Uh, that's all cleaned off. Uh, it just spread a little bit of silicone on there. And now uh, we'll get the coupling on there and get this all lined back up. There's our belts over there for the tower. Steady flow of water there. I said it's just the pressure from here to here. Uh, nothing major. All right, let's get this reconnected. I got a new coupling, and we'll get that realigned. We can start this thing back up just a second. Alright, so that's about where we're going to line up with the poles of our coupling. Insert, if you want to call it. I've not tightened that yet. Looking pretty good. These have a little give, so but this is good to tight. I didn't change anything with the shims. I'm gonna bolt it down and I will recheck it. Alright, so I got them tightened down, but let's see. I think I'm up. Reap this 
position a back stem. See if I can bring that motor shaft up. about as good as I'm going to get this one. So this is a size 4 coupling, I'm looking for 17 foot pound. We are going to dial it up. Tied in, still dry, align, bolts tighten. No leaking from that gasket. That's all the way. Like everything's good to go here. Looks like a peek at the chiller. I've got chiller one off just because I uh, don't need it running while I'm in here. Two, our condenser, small difference is three. We're running about 21 degrees superheat discharge. Operator five degrees. I believe we got multi passes here, so I don't know if it's two or three. Uh, 
chiller guys can probably chime in on that. All right, so now we're gonna address that belt. Um, turn it off. Turn off this drive. If it's marked cooling tower two out there. I've got a disconnect out there also, so I'm gonna put a lock out there. All right, so they have it marked chiller two. Cooling tower two. We are locked out. I'm gonna leave this one going. And we'll work on this one right here. That's the one where the uh, belt jumped the tracks. All right, so now we get a better look. Let's see where the belts are free. But more importantly, this is. And I have to make sure uh, it's aligned as we can. I'm going to uh, loosen this up. We'll take that belt off. And throw a new one on there. Alright, so we got that loosened up. Just going to uh, tighten this down. And we'll draw the motor in and relieve that tension from the belt. Alright, I got our slack pretty good here. So, shouldn't be a problem. Well, the tower is mostly all stainless. I'll no worry to mount my camera. See if I can find a place here. Alright. Just gonna magnetize that. Just be low grade. Alright. That'll be fun. the grooves. Now we can tighten her back up. These felt good too.
So those other belts are the wrong size. I don't know why they're on site here. Probably misorder. Uh, the ones that took off are B4, 154, or 4B, 154. Those other ones were uh, 158. So it would be too big for this side. Maybe they're for that side, but I doubt it. I think it's probably the same. Alright, I think I got it tight enough. Um, make sure it's level. Then one motor picking one way or another. And, uh, like it's too good. The tune might be, uh, go east a little bit. Alright. And, uh, Closed up there. Just left my hang. Put this hang in there for a minute. And I drive back on. I thought for a minute there I might have chucked the vibration switch. Apparently not. Yep. This one definitely needs replacement too. Uh, and this is the 154. Shame I don't have one. So, we will have to an emergency order for that. Um, stay intact there. Don't come apart on me. Alright guys, I think we're done for today. Uh, getting dangerously close to lunchtime. I'm gonna order another belt there. Get the pump in. I did turn the other shoulder back on. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Go clean up my tools. My hands. Grab some lunch. Alright guys. Have a good day or weekend. See you in the next video.